Okay, so today I have a really cool review of a box from Dia & Co. Um, this is not a sponsored post. They didn't ask me to put it on YouTube, Instagram. They didn't ask me to put it anywhere. They just said, hey, can we send you a box of this stuff and tell us what you think of it? And I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm going to kind of explain what Dia & Co. is just so you have an idea before I even open the box. Um, the box did come. It is still all wrapped up. So Dia & Co. is like a styling service for plus size women. Basically what they do is they do a profile of you and your tastes and your likes and what you need in your closet. They call you, a stylist calls you, and they kind of discuss your style. Um, they get hooked up with your social media accounts and they kind of look at any outfits you've worn, kind of try to get a vibe for you. And then they send you five things. You I'm getting really, I'm sorry, I'm like so sweaty because I'm like really excited. I like really, really, really want to get into this box. When I talked to the stylist at Dia & Co, I told them that one of the things about my wardrobe that I have a hard time with is stepping outside of neutrals. Um, I love neutrals. I love things that are natural. I love things that are earthy. Uh, you can tell by what I'm wearing today. I just really like earth tones. So anything outside of that, I am always hesitant to buy. I'm also hesitant to like it. But I love that a styling service might be able to send me something because a lot of times when I try something on, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so cute and I never would have tried it on. So I'm very into the idea of a styling service. Uh, I think it can help get you out of a rut if you're in one. For someone like me who excels at shopping but does not necessarily enjoy it, um, it's kind of fun because I get to have the fun of getting something in the mail, of putting something new on my body, and I didn't have to do any of the work. Uh, if you guys have looked at my blog, fatgirlflow.com, um, then you know that I have a list of 100 places to shop for plus size women. And that shit took forever. I mean, I was sitting at about 60 thinking there's no fucking way I'm gonna find another 40 to add to this list. So, you know, DN Co. does all that work for you. I think that's really awesome. Okay. I'm dying to get into this box, so let's go ahead and look and see what's in it. Like I said, I already opened it up. I kind of know what the first item is, but I didn't take it out of its packaging because I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, there's a cute little note. Okay, well this is so sweet. So it comes with a little card giving you directions. My stylist has written a little note on the back. Her name's Megan. She was wonderful. I loved talking to her. I have a mild amount of, so uh, it's a huge amount of social anxiety um, and so I was a little bit nervous about talking to a stranger on the phone but they said you can email them if you want to and when I got done talking to them on the phone it was so worth it. She was so cool. She was so lovely. I liked her a lot. This is the first item. It's in the prettiest pink packaging. Do you guys know what this is? Oh my god! <laughs> it's a fucking tutu! This is amazing. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. It's got little polka dots on it. is that must be like the piece in it because it got individually wrapped and everything else is wrapped together. A little floral dress. It is a kind of, it's a really light flowy fabric and look at this print. Can you see? It's so pretty. Okay, let's try it on.
The next item in the box. Oh, oh. The next item in the box is this little um, shrug cardigan. I really like this. It looks really loose. It looks very comfy. It is earth colored. I'm excited. <laughs> the next item in the box came in this adorable little Dia and Co pouch. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, it goes with everything in my box too. So pretty. Oh, oh, I like it. And it's gonna go with that sweater so well. styling stuff they asked me what my sizes were and I explained to them like I'm usually a 24 on top and a 26 on bottom but because they're a styling company they if you tell them you're a 26 on bottom and they know that a company runs a size big then they're gonna send you the sizing that you need which is really cool I think that's very thoughtful so I'm really excited to see what these are gonna look like on me they have um, a rip in the thigh which you know I like to party so that might be really cool all right let's try these on for you I really liked everything and also I'm just going to mention that I just realized why I really like the idea of this service and it is because I am sweating my ass off right now. So I haven't been able to shop in a mall or in a store for six years maybe. Having the store brought to me so that I don't have to go out and like struggle to find things at Lane Bryant or Torrid or the few stores that are out there is really nice because I'm going to be real with you, I am a sweaty, sweaty girl, and um, it's not fun trying on stuff in a fitting room when you are this big. I would definitely say though that when you are talking about sizes, make sure you're referring to, make sure your stylist and you both know um, that you are referring to women's sizing as opposed to junior sizing, especially if you're someone like me who's like, who can be a 24 up to a 28. Um, you know, like in some stuff I need a 28, in junior sizing I need a 28, in women's sizing I need a 26. I think just making sure you communicate that with your stylist can really alleviate some of that stuff. The uh, skirt was $100, the necklace is 28, the floral print dress was 64, the boyfriend jeans from ASOS were 68, and the loose cardigan was 62. The important thing to remember is that when you talk to your stylist, you can actually pick a price range. That way they won't send things outside of your price range. I picked a high price range because I will spend a lot of money on my clothes and because I tend to wear clothes out until they are completely busted through. And so I do spend a lot of money on pieces that I love. Um, but if you do not, if you prefer to have cheaper pieces in your closet, or if you're in an in-between stage where you're like going from one size to another, then you can definitely tell them that your price range is much smaller and they'll send you clothes that fit your price range. So um, overall, I'm really happy with the box. I think that it was really, really fun to get to try on everything. I have been looking forward to getting to the box for like a week, so it was super exciting to come home to it. If you like this kind of like box review style haul, uh, go ahead and comment below and let me know what you think. 
Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more of my videos because I'm planning on making a lot more and it'll be more fun if I have company, I think. So, thanks Dia and Co. Uh, thanks to all of you. I hope you guys all have an amazing week.